Victims of the Medea Secondary School dormitory fire will continue to be supported as the Guyana government has reaffirmed its commitment to providing all necessary assistance to them. The incident happened in May, claiming the lives of 19 children. On Monday, the government announced its intention to offer comprehensive support to those affected. The Attorney General Chambers of Guyana has drafted a compensation agreement for the families. As part of the agreement, the government will provide a settlement of $5 million Guyanese dollars per, ch per child. And they say this initiative aims to alleviate the suffering of the families and assist in their recovery from this devastating event. The Office of the Attorney General representing the Irfan Ali government has pledged ongoing assistance to the affected families, enabling them to cope with and recover from this unimaginable tragedy. Many families expressing a need for immediate financial aid to help provide for their households, and the government responded by offering each family the necessary financial assistance. Prior to receiving the aid, the families were advised to seek independent legal counsel and sign agreements to ensure clarity and accountability. The Attorney General has confirmed that the compensation agreement will cover both the children who lost their lives and those who survived that fire. I went to Madia because rather than bring all the people out, mm -hmm. uh, we went to Region 8 and brought them out from the villages, met with each family, made it very clear to them that this is not a compensation because government really can't. And it would be insensitive to think that the government can compensate for the tremendous loss, pain, anguish, and suffering that those people endured. Right. One can't begin to think that one can put money on the lives of those who perished and those who injured. It would be highly insensitive to even begin to have that kind of discourse. And that is why when the, if you look at the agreement itself, it, an ex, it says expressly that it is an expression of continued financial support. And there is a pledge in there for the government to continue to offer this financial support. 